that they lead the league in rushing, and most teams that are run-oriented aren't as strong on third down as they are. Yeah, they're big, strong, physical guys. That's what they're known for, and uh, they've probably got as big offensive line as we're going to see all year. So, um, you know, that's that's always going to be a challenge. And uh, they do a great job running the ball. They do a great job, period. But uh, particularly uh, running the ball offensively. Very well coached uh, in the O-line. Uh, you can see it on film uh, with the different way they, uh, ways they uh, block things, um, combinations and so forth. Uh, very, very well schooled and, and uh, will be a big test for us as far as our rushing defense. Uh, Coach, uh, during the bye week last week, is there anything you focused on specifically on on defense? It's just fundamentals, really. Uh, you know, you didn't necessarily have a big plan to um, do anything X and O wise. Uh, you know, from a preparation standpoint, until we got deeper into uh, the game planning for Wisconsin. So, really, the main focus was just on the uh, Im uh, improvement of our fundamentals. Jay, you talk about the game planning. Um, Hornybrook sat out, you know, with a concussion against Northwestern. There still seems to be, as we sit here now, some doubt about whether he'll play Saturday. What does that do for the preparation of your defense, not yet knowing who might start? Right. Well, I'm not sure how much they're going to change offensively. I think they do what they do in the passing game. Um, you know, probably regardless of who's behind center. Obviously, you got a starter if he plays. You figure he can probably just do those same things a little bit better than the backup. But I don't know if their play calling from a pass game standpoint is going to change all that much. So um, we can't we can't prepare for the unknown anyway. So all we can really do is is, is get ready to defend what they do offensively, and whoever's under center is, is who we got to play. The defense came out with a better effort later from the game two weeks ago against Northwestern. Um, did you notice anything different? Uh, any kind of changes that really stuck out to you that, that led to that improved play? No, you know I you know we've sat in here for several weeks and <coughs> talked about. Uh, you know, it's five or six plays in, in every game, seemingly all the way up until the Northwestern game. And I think probably the biggest thing is, you know, I noticed, and I don't know what to attribute it to exactly, but um, you know, I think we went out and played with greater energy and passion than what we had. And uh, the biggest difference, again, was, was we didn't give up the big plays. I think there were two explosive plays in the game over the course of 80-some snaps. Uh, that's far and away the best, you know, that we've been in that area defensively throughout the course of the year. So. Uh, hopefully we can, you know, stay on that theme and keep it going because that's really a big key to being able to be successful. I think it was 81 snaps, but 50 in the second half. I mean, in hindsight, was, was that maybe an issue for you guys down the stretch in the fourth quarter? Well, yeah, certainly the ratio was different, as you said. Um, you do tend to get a little bit worn down, but, you know, we had a, had a chance to come up with some plays in that last drive to get ourselves off the field and get the ball back to the offense with a little bit of time on the clock for them to have a chance to do something with it. Uh, we misfit a couple plays, uh, didn't make a couple tackles that were as clean as they needed to be that could have prevented, uh, you know, some fall forward yards as opposed to some knockback yards. And, and maybe that attributes to what you talked about being a hair tired. But um, we need to do a better job in that last drive, and I wish we had because. Uh, we certainly needed to get the ball back for our offense at that point. And when you play an offense like Wisconsin, how challenging is it, like the substitution patterns? I assume you want to rotate pretty liberally so they don't kind of have that wear down effect on you and they're going to keep running the ball. Um, and I guess how challenging is that considering the depth issues you guys have? Well, it's a big challenge. Uh, as you know, we're thin, uh, you know, particularly up front in the D line and in some other spots as well. So uh, the good thing about this game plan and this this preparation is they're not a huge tempo team. They don't necessarily try to go fast or like to go fast. So I think you do have a, a little bit more time to get guys on and off the field, whereas in some other games you may not have that, that luxury just because they're going so fast you you know you'd be in a penalty situation if you tried to do it. So that'll help us a little bit. But uh, yeah the, the the personnel challenges from the standpoint of depth are still there for us. But we'll rotate guys in as best we can to try, try to stay fresh. Um, you know, keep going into the fourth quarter. Is this type of team a better matchup for you as opposed to, you know, a team that Northwestern spreads it out, do you think? It's you know, of, you know both, both, both teams run the ball. Uh, both teams run the ball, uh, you know, effectively but differently. You know, I think the biggest difference with the Wisconsin system is, you know, a lot of cases you've got a lead blocker in the backfield so that, you know, uh, presents different things in terms of fits and, um, you know how you got to defend plays, but um, you know both both teams run the ball and run it well and have good offensive lines. So 
it's just a little bit different systematically how you got to go about it. Any other questions? Thanks, Thank you, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it.